hi darlings good afternoon and welcome back to the ants world so guys in today's tutorial is going to be a very quick and very fast one we are going to be drafting this beautiful cow neck dress you see here so we are going to be using our basic pattern to do this drafting okay so i have my sleeve block my skirt block and also my basic bodies block okay so these are the things i'll be using to achieve this beautiful dress you've just seen right now and also i'm going to be using my sequin fabric okay so this is a sequin fabric it's a velvet but a sequin fabric so i am going to um first of all cut my skirt i'm going to fold in my darts because i don't need the darts here because this dress is a stretch dress okay so i'm just going to be making some few modifications in this like um parts and i'm just going to add some few inches because of the size of the person okay so i'm going to pin this down like you're seeing okay so i'm just pinning this down and i'm um cutting both the front and back together because there is no zip in this dress okay it's a free dress that you can wear so i'm just adding some few inches to the side okay of the hem okay and also the waist area okay so these are the two modifications that i am doing on um, modifications that i am doing on this pattern so the next thing is we are going to be cutting the back um bodies okay so i'm going to place my front i'm going to cut my back also on fold like i said there is no zip in this tutorial okay so i'm going to cut my back pattern like that and after cutting just remove your your pins make sure you maintain the folded that okay because i'm going to be using the same um uh, uh, bodies for my front okay so i'm just trimming out my front armhole so before we will we go to the front i'm going to go ahead and cut my sleeve first because the front i need to do some explanations there so i'm just putting my sleeve pattern onto my um, fabric like that and i'm going to cut this out so after cutting i'm going to go ahead and trace out the front as well so I'm going, I'm just trimming my front pattern, okay, and I'm pinning it in position just to make sure I'm cutting it accurately. So after this, um, we are done with the back, the skirt, and also the sleeve. Now let's move to the main star of the show. Yes, so we have our pattern placed on, okay so make sure it's the same almost the same width as your pattern like the fabric you cut is almost the same width and from that point okay i'm going to mark 13 inches you can do less you can do more depending on how deep or how much you want your cow neckline so i'm just going to pin that place down because my chalk is not really doing justice so right now i'm just transferring i'm going to transfer my 13 inches okay to that side all right and on that point i'm just going to place my shoulder the the tip of my shoulder like you're seeing so please take note okay just put your shoulder on that point okay and match it very well to that edge and then pin also make sure your arm your armhole or your armhole line okay is also at a good position like i have placed it okay just along the same line okay so after this i'm just going to cut i'm going to trace around that side just a little bit and after that i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out okay so like I said, after marking your 13 inches, your 10 inches, depending on how much you want your cow neck, just place your shoulder onto that point. Okay. So now after placing your shoulder, trace around that point. Or you can even go ahead and trim and uh, cut it off if you want. So after that, you see how I am shifting my, 
my uh, pattern okay so make sure it is just aligning okay if not anything let the um, the um, center part okay align with the center of your fabric okay yes yeah, so just like that i'm going to cut the rest of my my pattern out okay so after that i'm going to cut the sides as well remember we trace the bit from that side to follow that trace and then now we are done okay just remove your your pattern so this is what we have okay this is what we have now the next thing is i am going to make a diagonal cut around this small open side like like you're seeing okay so um after that okay this is what we have and i'm going to go ahead and then run my overlock stitch around this edge because this side this diagonal side area is going to be folded in so i'm going to run my overlock stitch if you don't have any overlocker just fold and then sew okay hem it's like you hem your normal stuff okay so after that all right i'll come back and show you how to place your your or how to fold in your cow so i'm going to trace my back neckline because i am going to um need a face i'm going to be using this facing to turn my back neckline okay so i'm going to match it right sides facing each other okay and i'm going to sew a top stitch on the facing and i'm going to use some hemming gum to hold it down so right after i am done with the back okay and i'm also done with overlocking my neckline for the front okay so guys i'm done and this is how it looks so we are going to begin okay with the folding so quickly fold your diagonal cut in like that and um, now we are going to make sure from all that points we pleat it on our back shoulder okay so my whole 13 inches is just going to be pleated in on my back shoulder so i'm just going to overlap this by one inch for for the front i'm going to overlap it by one inch okay like so make sure whatever you do to this side you make sure you repeat the same step on the other side okay so just overlap like that and make sure you have you are putting it along diagonally so this is my first um pleating or my first let's say my neckline all right so the next thing i am going to pleat again and like i said please make sure you are pleating diagonally okay so i'm going to pleat and it's going to overlap the back a bit it's not going to be um the same as the back shoulder is going to overlap a bit because i'm going to be stitching and hemming that side so i'm going to pleat and also check my drip how it is going okay so after i am okay i'm just going to grab my pins and i'm going to hold it down okay so now whatever you do you do to the other side as well like i said so i'm going to pleat this all right so basically what i'm doing is i am pleating all my 13 inches okay i am making sure all that falls in and aligns with the back okay so i'm just pleating it on my back shoulder like so so make sure you check your drape okay make sure you check your drape and how it is going all right so normally the original fabric for this fabric is this type of sequin also you can use like satin not all fabrics like really brings out your uh, not all fabric really brings out your design very well okay so this fabric is suitable satin is also suitable okay so i'm just um pleating the third one okay so i'm making sure that everything is like aligning perfectly 
and overlapping from the back before I pin so I'm just matching my my shoulder for the front because we are done with that part and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pleat this side as well okay and make sure that it matches the other one okay so after pleating I'm just going to match my shoulder okay so I'm matching the shoulder you can notch at that part where your shoulder is supposed to like be you can notch around that part so you see it's overlapping okay the front is overlapping the back and I'm going to sew by half an inch okay so once I am done sewing I'm going to go ahead and join the sides okay I'm going to align the sides I'm going to join the sides All right and also I'm going to be attaching my skirt to this okay it's a very simple dress so I'm not going to film any more details so I'm just going to attach my skirt to this after joining my uh, uh, shoulder and also my bodice together I'm going to attach my skirt right sides facing each other front and back sew them together and attach it to my bodice so after that i'm going to go ahead and add my sleeve to red okay i'm going to sew my sleeve also right side facing each other i'm going to close the sleeve and i'm going to attach it to it so just close the sides join your skirt panel join your sleeves and let's go back and i'll come back and show you how the dress looks like so thank you guys for sticking with me till now i am done with it this is how the sleeve look i've hemmed the bottom of my sleeve i've hemmed my sleeve pleated my shoulder joined by half an inch trim off the rest and also join my waist okay my sleeve and also the hem of my dress okay so everything is done let's go to the mannequin and see how it looks so guys this is how my dress looks okay this is how it looks it's very beautiful it looks so beautiful thank you for watching guys i will see you guys in my next one take care and have a lovely day Bye bye